Welcome to your Active Heart, Healthy Heart exercise program. We're going to begin with the warm up, which is essential for preparing the body and preparing the heart for exercise. So start with the feet slightly apart, soften the knees, pull up through the spine, take the shoulders forward, up, back, gently down. Imagine that you have a piece of string pulling you towards the ceiling. Now breathe in, and as you breathe out, pull your tummy tightly into your backbone, but you're breathing out at the same time. Now release by 50%, and keep this good posture all the way through your exercise program. And off we go. Starting in gear one, a gentle march, a swing of the arms, and take the shoulders forward, up, back, gently down, again. Consider your posture nice and tall. And we're going to start with a heel dig. We're only in gear one, so we're keeping the exercise quite gentle at this stage. Let's take it back to the march. And when you're marching, think of your posture again. Tummy tight, shoulders relaxed. And the toe tap now. Lengthening the foot and tapping the toe onto the floor in front of you. Well done and a march. We're now going to do a knee raise. Tighten the tummy muscles and up comes the knee. Just to about 45 degrees. If you feel a bit wobbly, then just tap the toe in front. Your choice. And back to the march. The leg is now going to the side, so gently does it. Each time you come back to centre before you extend the leg sideways. And it's a march. Now the leg is going back so a gentle bend of the knee, not too energetic at this stage, and keeping the heel high, tap behind you. It's the march. We're now going to loosen up the spine. So take the feet slightly apart, soften the knees by bending them gently and wiggle the toes. Nice and tall and slide down to the middle, other way. We're loosening up the spine. Take care not to go too far. Just what's comfortable for you. And back to the mark. The spine works in two directions, so let's take the feet slightly apart, wiggle the toes, hands across the chest, and look to the right, to the middle. You'll notice it's just my rib cage that's moving. The hips are pointing forward. There's no movement from the waist down. And of course, the toes are wiggling like mad. back to the mark. We're now going up to gear two, which is slightly more energetic movement. If you feel you're working too hard at any time, please follow Caroline, who's going to do the lower intensity marches. And the elbow slightly bent, 
all the way round. The tum is tight and the posture is good. And back the other way. And you'll notice that Caroline's doing a shoulder roll if this is uncomfortable for you. Well done. Back to the march. It's now the heel digs. And. So a little lower on the bend. And because we're gear two, we're going to add some arms. But you'll notice Caroline's doing the lower level and her arms are swaying gently. Back to the march, pull tall. Excellent. Now the toe taps and a bicep curl. Again, Caroline's doing the lower intensity option. And back to the march. Ready with the knee raise. Pull the tummy in tightly for balance. And up we come. The knee comes a little higher because we're in gear two. And we're moving the arms a little more energetically. Excellent. Back to the march. The leg is now going to the side. So nice and gently, toe tap. The knee is bending a little lower. And as we're in gear two, I'm taking the arms out to the side. Excellent work. Back to the march. A swing of the arms, nice and tall. The leg is now going backwards. Here we go. Heel high, toe tap. A little deeper on the bend. And of course, that bicep curl. Are you beginning to feel a little warmer? Excellent work. Back to the march. Back to the spine. So let's take the feet slightly apart. Wiggle the toes, pull up through the spine. Tummy tight. And down, back to the middle. Take care that you keep the body in the middle and you avoid bending forward. One more each side. And back to the march. Okay, we're now going to do the spinal rotations. Take the feet slightly apart, bend the knees slightly, wiggle those toes, hands across the chest to the right. Side, middle. And just going as far as is comfortable with those hips facing forward. Good work. Now we're bringing the intensity up a little more because we're in gear three. So check the posture, but the knees are marching well, the arms are swinging, and bend the elbows slightly. And imagine that you're combing your long golden locks. If you have any discomfort in your shoulder, then follow Caroline, who's doing the lower version, and back the other way. Well done. Keep that march going. Keep up the energy. And we're going into the heel dig. Here we go. And now you'll notice that I'm bending quite a good deal more than I did in gear one. And we're going to add some big arms. Caroline's doing a lower intensity so her arms are not so high and she's not bending quite so low. 
Choose who you'd like to follow, whatever's comfortable for you. And march. Now we've got the toe tap. Here we go. So the same principle, we're in gear three, so nice and low. And make yourself work a little bit harder by bringing in those big arms. And again, Caroline's intensity is considerably lower than this gear three. And march. It's the knee raise. Tummy nice and tight. Pull up through the spine. Up you come. The knee's coming up to about 90 degrees, which is up to about hip level. And we're making the heart work a little harder by using bigger arm movements. However, if you do feel wobbly, then don't forget, you can toe tap, but keep the arms going at a bigger rate. Well done, take a march, nice big move. The leg is now going to the side and toe tap. The weight's in the middle, the supporting leg is bending quite low. And of course, we're in gear three, so we put in those big arms. Caroline's arms are lower and she's not bending quite so low. Excellent work. March it out. Get that posture check. Now we're taking the leg to the back. And heel high and nice deep bend. Make the movement harder by taking the leg a little bit further back, but keep the heel away from the floor. Now the arms come into play. If you're finding that your RPE is getting above light, then please follow Caroline and take the intensity down a little bit. Well done. Back to the march. Good arm swing, nice and tall. Well, I hope you're feeling a little bit warmer. We're now going to prepare the muscles by giving them a stretch. So take the intensity down a little bit. Just walking through the feet and bring the arms around. Imagine you're hugging that big person who's quite small, so look at down at them. You should feel a gentle tension in the top of the back. Well done, release that stretch. Centralize, think of your posture. Now place the right arm onto the right shoulder, slide it down the back, and with the left hand, just support the arm. If this is painful or uncomfortable, then take the arm across the body and just support it and feel the stretch between the elbow and the shoulder and release that stretch. Now we have to do this on the other arm. So place the hand on the shoulder, slide down the back as far as is comfortable and with the other arm, just support the arm a gentle tension between the elbow and the shoulder. If that's uncomfortable, as I say, you can take it across the body. And release that stretch. Keep the march going. Consider your posture as you put your hands on the small of the back and gently draw the elbows together so you're stretching the chest muscles. Well done release that stretch. Now tapping behind, heel high. We're thinking of the lower body as we take the right leg back, gently ease the heel into the floor, take the weight forward onto the left leg, wiggle the toes a little. And a march. Toe tap behind. And we're now taking the left leg back. Gently ease the heel into the floor. Check that both toes are facing forward.
Well done, and back to the march. Keeping a good posture, we heel dig to the front. The feet go underneath the hips, the toes are facing forward. Bend the knees slightly as if you're sitting on a bar stool. Take the right leg forward, squeeze the tummy in, the hands are at the top of the thighs for support. Look at the ground before you and bend forward until you've got the tension between the knee and the hip of the straight leg. Slowly back up again, well done. And we're going to repeat that on the other leg now. It's heel dig. Now take the feet underneath the hips, toes facing forward, bend the knees, extend the left leg with a relaxed foot, pull the tummy in nice and tightly with the hands at the top of the thighs and bend forward with the eyes looking at the floor in front of you. And slowly back up, well done, march out. The next stretch is for the front of thigh, which involves standing on one leg. So Caroline is going to use the wall for support. And if you feel that you're a bit unstable, that's the best way to do it. Taking the weight onto the right leg, focus on something that's not moving. Bring up the foot, hold the shoelaces, or if it's more comfortable, the tracksuit bottom. The knees are in a straight line and feel the tension in the front of the thigh. Well done, march out. Now take the weight onto the left leg. Again, focus on something that's not moving. Bring up the foot, hold the shoelaces or the tracksuit bottom, whatever's most comfortable for you, and feel the tension in the front of the thigh. Back to the march. Well done. Good work. Well, that's our warm-up finish. But before we go into the conditioning phase, we need to bring the heart rate up slightly. So let's have a good old march. Bring up the knees, swing the arms, and stand nice and tall. Well done, everybody. We are now going to commence the level two program. So starting with the march, just check your posture, pulling up through the spine, take the shoulders forward, up, back and down. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, pull your tummy in really tightly. Pull it in, pull it in. Now release by 50%. So starting with the first CV exercise, we're taking the foot to the side. Not too far, and make sure the foot is placed directly under you before the leg goes to the side. And when you're happy, just introduce some arms. My arms are quite low. How are you doing, Caroline? Yep, mine are just swinging naturally with the leg. Nothing forced or controlled, really. Just naturally swinging. Feels very comfortable. to the march. Pull up through the spine. Get your posture good. Our next exercise is a cardiovascular exercise. So feet slightly apart and just draw the heel to your bottom. The foot slightly flexed. 
And while you're swaying side to side, just check that the weight is central. When you're happy with what the legs are doing, you can bring in the arms. How are you doing at home? Think about how you're breathing. Think about how your muscles are feeling. And think about your RPE. Are you working at the right level for you? Brilliant work. Okay, back to that march. So check that posture. And we're on to our wall press up. I'm going to demonstrate this while Leslie talks it through. Find a nice sturdy wall and place your hands about shoulder height with the fingers pointing towards the ceiling. Take a small step back from the wall and take the weight onto the arms. Slowly lower the nose towards the wall and push back again. You'll need to do around about 12 to 15 repetitions of this exercise. Any more than this and you're probably working too fast. You'll notice that while Caroline's heels are on the floor, as she moves forward, her heels gently raise. That's perfectly okay. How's that feeling, Caroline? Yeah, that feels fine. I can really feel my chest and arms working. And back to the march. Our next exercise is the knee raise. So just check your posture's good. Here we go. Lifting that knee. A good tip is to focus on a spot on the wall opposite. And that will help your balance. And if you feel wobbly at any point, just remember, you can go back to your toe tap. That's absolutely fine. Well done, and we're back to our march. We're now going into a backward lunge. So taking the foot back, the heel is high, the front leg bends. If you want to work a little harder, bend the knee a little bit more and take the arms out in front. The heel remains high as you toe tap behind. Think about your RPE. Think how your muscles are feeling and how you're breathing and check your pulse. And if you've been asked to record your heart rate and RPE, we'll give you a chance after this exercise. Well done, take it to a march. And you may now go and record your heart rate and or your RPE if you've been asked to do so by your cardiac rehabilitation team. Our next exercise is an active recovery. It's the upright row. For this, I'm just gonna use body weight and Leslie's gonna use her water bottles filled with rice. 
So bringing the hands in front of the body, we're just gonna raise the hands between chin and chest height. Let the elbows lead the way. Nice, smooth, controlled movement, working to a comfortable range of movement for you. So the hands just skim in front of your body. Make sure you keep breathing. So aiming to do between 12 and 15 repetitions in your minute. If you manage to perform any more than that, you're lifting and lowering too fast. Well done, we're back to our march. We're now on a CV exercise, which is that good strong march. Check your posture's good, pull up through the spine and really lift those knees. Swing the arms. Are you marking as hard as I am, Caroline? No. No? My knee's not coming quite as high. My arms aren't lifting quite as high as you, Leslie. But I'm really keeping in mind my own rate of perceived exertion. And so to match you would be too hard for me. How's your breathing? Can you still chat to me? Back to a gentle march, taking down the arms, taking down the height of the knees. So we're staying with the cardiovascular movements and we're on to our side step. So we're tapping out to the side. Get those legs moving and then add in a low arm. Leslie's arm height is slightly higher than mine. and I think her range of movement through the legs is slightly greater. Please work to a comfortable range of movement for you so that you achieve the rate of perceived exertion that you're aiming for. And please remember, you should be able to chat back to me. And if you can't, you're working too hard and we'll need to bring the intensity down. So please do chat at me, not a problem. Well done, and back to your march. Well done, we're now moving on to another active recovery, the bicep curls. So if you're using weights, pick up your weights now. Tummy pulled in tightly, elbows tucked into the waist, and draw the weights up to your shoulders, or if you're not using weights, your hands up to your shoulders. Checking that your posture is good, that you stabilize by pulling your tummy muscles in tightly. Just check that you're not holding your weights too tightly, that it's a nice relaxed grip. Good work, and back to the march. And our next exercise is the hamstring curl. So just taking the feet slightly wider and we're just transferring weight from one foot to the other. So make sure your foot is placed flat to the floor with your weight fully on it before you lift the other leg. So we're kicking the heel to the bottom. Once the legs feel nice and rhythmic, add in your arms. You'll notice that my arms are slightly lower than Leslie's. 
and that's fine. How does that feel, Leslie? Well, it's beginning to feel a little bit hard for me, so I'm going to bring my arms down slightly. And that's a more comfortable pace now. How are you doing at home? Feeling good? How's your breathing doing? Able to chat back to me? Doing really well. And we're back to our march. We're now going on to a knee raise, a cardiovascular exercise. Pull up through the spine, tummy nice and tight, and up you come. You'll notice the knee's not coming too high. And we're just getting the heart to work a little bit harder by moving the arms. But if you feel a bit wobbly, that's fine. Just toe tap, but keep the arms going. Are you standing nice and tall? Excellent work. Well done. Right, now take it to a march. Our next exercise is an active recovery. It's the lateral raise. So please pick up your weights if you're using them. I'm just gonna be using body weight for this. So check that posture's good, keep those feet moving. And we're slowly lifting the hands up to shoulder height and slowly lowering back down. You will find that the shoulders tar quite easily, just using body weight as well. So just bear that in mind. Take care not to take the weights higher than the shoulders. And that's your last one. Back to your march. So we'll be on to a cardiovascular exercise now. So just pop your weights down. We're now going into a backward lunge. So taking the foot back, keeping the heel high. Once you've got the legs sorted out, then bring in the arms. that's somewhat light then bring the arms a little higher well done let's take it to a march well done we're now on to the next CV exercise which is that big dynamic march. So bring up the knees, swing the arms, keep nice and tall.
please can you consider your RPE now and check your heart rate. You'll have opportunity to note that down at the end of this exercise. Well done, bring the pace down. Please record your heart rate and your rate of perceived exertion as you've been advised by your cardiac rehab team. Please keep those feet moving. Well done. The next exercise is an active recovery for the chest muscles. So bring the arms up to shoulder height, bending at the elbow and squeeze the elbows together. You want to feel that there's an imaginary balloon between the elbows and you're squeezing it together, trying to burst it. And squeeze. How's it for you, Caroline? Actually, my arms are starting to ache, so I'm going to take them down and just march the rest of this one out. Good work. And back to the march. Our next exercise is a cardiovascular one again, so we're on to our half star. So get those legs moving, and then when you're ready, bring in a low arm swing. So it's just a light tap out to the side. And my arms are swinging probably no higher than waist height, but that's really effective for me. So while you're working, check that posture's good still. This is feeling like Caroline, so I'm going to take my arms a bit higher and my leg out a little bit more. It's really important that you keep considering how hard you're working. How are you feeling? How's your breathing doing? And make little adjustments along the way. That's excellent work. And we're back to our march. Our next exercise is your hamstring curl. So take the feet under the hips and we're taking the weight from side to side, lifting the heel up to your bottom or to a comfortable range of movement for you and then bringing in the arms when you're ready. So raising them up to the front, up to shoulder height. If you start with this and then think, this is too hard, just lower them down like I'm going to do. So working to a comfortable range of movement for you. How's your breathing doing at home? How are you feeling, Leslie? Yeah, feeling good, Caroline, thanks. Good. I've taken my arms a little higher than Caroline's because it feels quite light at the moment, but we have got a bit to go. Well done, and we're back to our march. So check that posture, and we're on to our wall press up. I'm gonna demonstrate this while Leslie talks it through. Okay, as previously described, check you've got a good sturdy wall to go against. Place your hands about shoulder height with the fingers pointing towards the ceiling. Take a small step back from the wall and take the weight onto the arms. Slowly lower the nose towards the wall and push back again. You'll need to do around about 12 to 15 repetitions of this exercise. Any more than this and you're probably working too fast. You'll notice that while Caroline's heels are on the floor, as she moves forward, 
Her heels gently raised. That's perfectly okay. How's that feeling, Caroline? Yes, that feels fine. I can really feel my chest and arms working. If you find the exercise too easy, then take a bigger step away from the wall and that will make the exercise harder. And back to the march. Another CV exercise. Pull your tummy in nice and tightly, pull up through the spine and raise the knee. Not too high with that knee raise. And just move the arms nice and gently. If you feel a bit wobbly or unstable, then take it back to the toe tap. But keep the heart rate up just by moving the arms. Your choice. How are you doing at home? Does it feel comfortable? You're looking good. Excellent work. Let's take it to that march. Our next exercise is the backward lunge. So we're just tapping the floor behind the toes and the ball of the foot. Once you've happily got the legs moving, bring in the arms. So just lift those arms to a comfortable height for you. Doing really well. This is the last exercise in this conditioning phase, so keep going. Well done, you're working well. Excellent work. Going into our march. Keep those feet moving, because we'll be going into our cool down. Well done. You finish your conditioning component now, we're entering the cool down. The cool down is necessary to bring the heart rate and the body back to the pre-exercise level. If you feel you're getting tired or feeling you're working too hard or hard, then follow Caroline, who will be doing the lower level of intensity. Right, here we go. Heel digs with big arms. Caroline, how are you feeling on this? Yep, I'm fine, but as I'm trying to bring my heart rate down now, I'm doing a bicep curl. And back to the march. Now we're going into a toe tap. And again, bending the supporting leg and the heart rate's up. So big arms. Caroline, where about are your arms while I'm doing this? I'm doing my bicep curl, so the hand just quite naturally swings up to the shoulder and I'm not bending quite as deep as you I should think so feels very comfortable for me and we're going back to the march it's now the knee raise if you're a bit wobbly then follow Caroline who's doing a toe touch brace your tummy muscles and raise the knee remember we're in gear three so keep that energy up And back to the march. At this level, I'm still marching vigorously. Caroline, are you at this vigorous level? Not quite as vigorous as you. <laughs> now the legs going to the side, a deep bend, and the arms are coming up to shoulder height. And 
back to the march. Now the legs going backwards, keeping the heel high, tapping the floor with the toe behind you, and the arms are high. If you're finding this difficult, you may want to follow Caroline, who's doing a lower level of intensity. And it's back to the march. We're now going down to gear two, so take the oomph out of the march. The movements aren't so intense, so starting with the heel dig, not such a big bend of the knee, and a bicep curl, taking out the intensity of the movement. And a march. It's now the toe tap and a bicep curl. And you'll notice that Caroline is just doing the leg movements. And a march. We're now going to do the knee raise. However, please, if you feel unstable, follow Caroline, who's doing the toe tap. Here we go. The knee is not quite as high and the movement with the arms isn't so aggressive. And back to the march. The legs now going to the side, so a little bend. And the arms are lower. Back to the march. The leg is now going to the back, so a small bend of the knee, toe behind, and I have a bicep curl. Caroline, where about are your arms for this one? This whole section, I'm not doing my arms, I'm just concentrating on keeping my legs going. Brilliant. Back to the march. Now we're in gear one, so a gentle heel dig. Good posture, shoulders down and relax. And back to the march. It's now the toe tap. Again, you'll notice that the arms aren't moving at all. All the work is done by gentle movements of the legs. And march. We're now doing a knee raise, but 45 degrees rather than 90 degrees. Tummy pulled in tightly, hands relaxed. And it's a march. Right, the leg is now going to the side. A little bend of the supporting leg, gently does it. And it's back to the march. And now we're going to take the leg back, a toe tap, the heel away from the floor. It's a gentle bend of the leg, toe tap, short distance behind, and the arms aren't moving. And a march on the spot. So just walking through the feet, we're now going into our stretches. So take the intensity down a little bit and bring the arms around. Imagine you're hugging that big person who's quite small, so look at down at them. Feel that gentle tension in the top of the back. Okay, release that up through the spine. Now take the feet slightly apart. Because our heart rate has come down now, we can stop the legs moving. Place the right hand on the right shoulder. Slide it down the back with the left hand to support the arm. If you feel this is uncomfy, then take the arm across the body. 
and you should feel a gentle tension in the underarm and release. So place the left hand on the shoulder, slide it down the back as far as is comfortable for you and with the right hand just to support it. You should feel a gentle tension on the underarm but again if your shoulder is uncomfortable or your neck uncomfortable take it across the chest. and release that stretch. We're now going to stretch the chest muscles, a really important stretch to give you good posture and to make you look younger. Hands on the small of the back, pull the elbows together. Caroline is doing a slightly different one if you feel that this is too tight across your chest with her hands on her temple and pulling the elbows back. and gently release that stretch. We're now going to think about the lower body. Feet as if they're on train tracks. Take the right leg back and gently ease the heel into the floor. When you're in that position, take the weight forward onto the left leg and you should feel a gentle tension in the calf muscle and just a gentle tension. That's a lovely stretch after all that hard work you've done. Right, place the feet together again. Okay, now we're going to do the other leg. Take the left leg backwards, ease the heel into the floor to so take weight forward onto the right leg and feel a gentle tension in the calf muscle. Just check that back foot's forward. And slowly back up. With the feet hip distance apart, bend the knees and take the right leg forward. Pull the tummy in tightly to support the back with the hands on the top of the thighs. Just bow forward with the eyes looking down at the floor, not at me. And you should feel the tension between the knee and the hip of the straight leg. Slowly back up again. And now we need to do that on the other leg. So feet hip distance apart. Bend the knees, now take the left leg forward, squeeze your tummy in before you bow with the eyes looking down at the floor, bend forward. Feel that tension between the knee and the hip and slowly back up again. The last stretch is for the front of thigh and again if you feel that you need some help with your balance then Caroline will show you how to hold on to a chair to make you more stable. The weight goes on to the right leg, the left leg comes up, hold the top of the foot or the tracksuit bottom if that's more comfortable and feel the stretch in the front of the thigh. Gently release that stretch and now we do the other leg. So again, get stable, take the weight onto the left leg, bring the right leg up, hold the tracksuit bottom or the shoelaces and feel that stretch in the front of the thigh and gently release. Well done everybody, good work. Excellent well, work Leslie.